Hey YouTube, welcome to the Blades to Be Shop. Got a welding video today. I'll try to keep it fairly quick and just show the highlights. Making another spare tire rack to put onto a customer's trailer. Uh, I modified a spare tire rack for them a while ago, but this one, it was actually just from the factory where this was welded onto the trailer. Didn't have enough support. I think he went to some heavier wheels and it just broke the weld on there and took the whole rack completely off. So the original rack is entirely gone. We're gonna start from scratch and fabricate a new one and make it significantly stronger than the uh, the other one was so that this one stays on the trailer for him. Let me just go ahead and uh, get this camera turned around and let's just jump right into this project. For those of you new to the channel, I encourage you to check out the other videos on here. I hope you like this one. And if you do, hit that subscribe button. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what we're dealing with. All right, we got a fairly interesting project today. The spare tire rack broke off this trailer so it broke off pretty clean and the existing or the original rack is completely gone so we're starting from scratch but uh you know, customers using a heavier wheel on this trailer and just obviously couldn't support it didn't look like there was a lot of penetration on that original weld but Trying to hold everything on there from that one spot wasn't enough, so we'll make it a little stronger. The tire has to be high enough that it clears this cabinet so you can open that up to access controls. So we need the tire mount up in here somewhere. So my plan is do something kind of like this A-frame. I'm gonna go up either side, put the plate up on top, have a cross piece there so I can have some tubing coming out off of here to hold my plate out in front. And then another cross piece here that will give me some good, a full bead of weld right across there. And I'm looking, I gotta take my ring off. We'll do that here in a minute. So again, we'll kind of have this A-frame coming up. I need to build out a little bit. I need to come out about seven eighths of an inch off of here in order to have supports and then come out two and a half inches off of here to give something to weld to since I'm not gonna use that center bracket at all. So I'm just gonna use some of this tubing to build some supports out that I can weld back in there, come off of the front of this piece right here. That'll give me a straight line off of this piece to be able to go all the way down. Maybe even extend it down you know, for extra strength. Maybe I'll even put a piece down there further. So one here, one down there, and one up in here. So we've got three points of weld on each side. So we've got three places holding it all the way down and have our tube just extend a little bit below there and build our A-frame up. That's kind of the plan. Let me get this fabbed up and get some pieces cut and we'll sort of mock it out on the ground, see what it looks like, and then we'll get it up on the trailer. And here's the plate that we're going to use up on the top. So get in there and drill a bolt circle on that on the mill and get our four holes in there. I think instead of putting my tubing up at the top, I'm actually gonna put the tubing more a little bit wider and a little bit lower. So we'll make our rack, you know, just be 12 inches across the top, go there. And then uh, I'll see, I may neck it back in to give it a little bit more length for that support on the plate. And we'll just, we're gonna have a cross piece going down in here. That's gonna give us a place to weld these two. Let's get some pieces cut. We'll start fabbing this together. Well, uh, here it's sort of, sort of mocked up. This is the hole, but this is actually the height it needs to be at, but it was just easy to rest it there on that ledge. So there's the height where that top hole is gonna be. I'm gonna come down this 15 degree angle here off the sides for my supports. And right now I'm just cutting my pieces. I'm gonna put one here, one here, and one down below. So I've got about a 25 inch piece coming down each side. At this mark, it's gonna be 12 inches across and then we'll put another cross support down here for these bottom legs going in. So I think it's gonna work, get it fabbed up. Well, this is kind of what we're looking like after I've got all the pieces cut. I'm about to start tacking them together. These pieces will be on the opposite side. So this is where the, the plate will mount out the front. These pieces will be out the back to space it off of the trailer and be able to weld it down. So we'll have six good points of contact on the trailer plus be able to run a bead all the way along the top of this one where it meets all along this top rail right here so i think we should have very secure i went ahead and added this extra piece up here on the top just because where i'm welding that plate on it's it kind of hits both pieces of tubing there but just really want to make sure that that top corner is 
held on very well since that's where the weight's pulling on it for that trailer hanging down or that tire hanging down got our two pieces down here so again we've got four good solid points of contact up on the top to hold that plate and the tire in place i think that is significantly more robust than what we're replacing so let me go ahead and get this tacked together. We'll get it clamped up on the trailer and figure out exactly where those spacer pieces go. We'll get those and then we'll get this all completely welded up together. And then we'll get that plate cut, get the holes drilled in that. And then we will weld the plate onto the, the front of those. All right, well, catch you up on what's been going on here. We got this all caught up, front plate, drilled that bolt circle in there, got those lug nuts through there i tacked those on the back to make sure they're not going to come out i've got three supports across the top this is where the bulk of the weight's going to hang off and that's where you know it it broke from having one weld in the past so we've got three pieces of tubing three across the top we've got our double tube here everything welded on we've got our six points of contact out the back one two and three you can see where those are gonna match up with where I'm gonna weld onto the trailer. Got the paint cleaned off. So that's roughly what it's gonna look like, except sit a little bit higher. I have test fit the wheel on here, so the wheel fits nicely on there. Has uh, about three eighths of an inch of clearance or so in front of the tubing. Make sure that the, the wheel does bolt up flat. So I think we should have a significantly stronger tire mount than what we had before. Again, I'm gonna get a full bead of weld across the front and across this piece of tubing. So we've got plenty of weld where it broke before for the overall pull. Plus we've got six points of contact touching down there. So I think that's what it's gonna look like. Let me go ahead and get that up in place. I can use a C clamps to clamp this right up against here and hold that in there. And let me get this thing welded onto this trailer. Let you know when I get her done. Okay, I got the C-clamps holding that up in place. Gonna get a full bead of weld across that top edge. Get all these six points welded in there. I think we've got pretty decent fit. Let's get it totally welded in place. There is a finished product. We'll get that tire on here in a second. Make sure our height is good for that cabinet to open. But I'm happy with how that turned out. We've got full weld on there in that gap. So we've got a full bead along right here. All the way around on the tubing. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with those vertical welds. They turned out all right. Even tried my overheads. I got a bead across the bottom of the tubing on the top and the bottom. Kind of only partial. It's really, I couldn't get the, the, the tip of the gun in there to put the full bead across the bottom. Had enough trouble welding across the top in that small gap. But, again, compared to the surface area we had holding it on before, we are five, six times the strength. And it's a nice tight fit held on in multiple places. So I think we are significantly over-engineered so that that won't come off there again. Let's get that tire up in place. We'll wrap this up. The tire is up there installed. We've got clearance over the cabinet. It's actually, ah, maybe could have been about an inch or so lower, but wanted to make sure that was gonna clear when that's fully up. So we've got clearance over the cabinet and you can see that tire mounts in there. We've got, you know, half three quarters of an inch out from our rack where that goes on. I believe we have good support on there. That should be in good shape to last a while. Yeah, it looks like it's supposed to be there. It doesn't look too add-on-ish. So happy with how that turned out. Let's call this one a wrap. Well, YouTube, that's a wrap on another video here in the Blades to Be shop. Hope you enjoyed going through as we fabricated and welded this spare tire rack on this trailer for a customer. If you're new to the channel, I encourage you to get out there and check out the other videos on here on machining, welding, knife making, just everything else going on here in the Blades to Be shop. And if you like what you see, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button and help us keep growing the channel here as we finish up 2022 and get ready to move into 2023. 
All right, until next time, I hope you're out in your own shop working on a project of your own. I'll be here in the Blades to Be shop working on that next video for you. Till then, y'all take care.